Because in this case, all of the defendants and all of the victims come from the same religious organization, the Jehovah Witnesses. Let me begin first with Mark Brown, 65, of Allegheny County. It is alleged that Brown repeatedly sexual abused, sexually abused two sisters for whom he was the legal guardian at the time. They were between the ages of 10 and 13 years old when this happened. They testified to being assaulted in the shower and other parts of the house that they shared with Brown when they were young girls. The next case is Raymond Schultz, 74, of Beaver County. It is alleged that Schultz repeatedly sexually assaulted his own granddaughters when they were between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. The next case is Abamil Valentine Matos, 42, of Lancaster County. It is alleged that Matos abused a 15-year-old girl. The next case is Kevin Isevich, 51, of Butler County. It is alleged that he sexually assaulted a member of his family when she was just nine years old. The next case is Norman Avales, 44, of Lancaster County. It is alleged that he sexually assaulted three minors who were between the age of five and ten years old. He was an elder in the Jehovah Witness congregation. The grand jury heard testimony from two of his victims that described that he groped their bodies and assaulted them. A third victim testified to frequent unwanted touching, including groping. Our office will never stop working to bring justice for those who have been victimized. We will continue to investigate and prosecute anyone who takes advantage and harms the most vulnerable in our society. It is my solemn pledge that I will be here to help survivors. We will not hesitate to take action. Thank you. Um, so from what I understand, the homeless witness has its own internal judicial system. Have you investigated if they were aware of this, if they looked into it, and if so, um, will you be looking at the organization that's running charges? This is an ongoing investigation.